Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is Amanullah. You are watching my YouTube channel, Dr. Aman's video. Dear viewer, we will discuss about HbA1c test. HbA1c test is a test in which we analyze glycated or glycosylated hemoglobin in the blood of an individual in order to measure the average blood glucose level of that person in the previous two to three months. How it happened, we will discuss in a little detail. First of all, we know that hemoglobin is a protein content which, which is present in the red blood cell of an individual and it carry oxygen from lungs to the other parts of the body. Normally, in an adult individual, hemoglobin content is comprised of these three fractions. One fraction is hemoglobin A, which is 97% of the total hemoglobin. Second fraction is hemoglobin A2, which is 2.5% of the total hemoglobin. And the third fraction is hemoglobin F, which is 0.5%. Though there are some exceptions besides these three fractions, but usually an adult individual contains these three fraction of hemoglobin. Now, the most abundant fraction is hemoglobin A, which is 97%. This hemoglobin A is further, this hemoglobin A has further sub-fraction. And among those fraction, HbA1 is a fraction which constitute total 6% of this whole hemoglobin A. And this hemoglobin A or HbA1 has further sub-fraction. And among those sub-fraction, HbA1c is the most abundant fraction, which is 5% of this total 6%. In simple word, you can say that HbA1c is 5% of this total HbA or the most abundant hemoglobin fraction of an adult individual. Now, what happened in diabetes? Now, please hold here. Now, little we will discuss diabetes that we know that diabetes is a metabolic disorder in which there is increased level of glucose into the blood of an individual or in diabetes there is hyperglycemia. What normally occur, normally there is glucose into the blood but that level is under normal level. Normally the glucose content attached with the hemoglobin A1c or HbA1c in a non-enzymatic reaction. And when this glucose attached to the HbA1c, then this hemoglobin is known as HbA1c or glycosylated or glycated hemoglobin. Now, if the concentration of glucose is high into the blood of an individual, then the more content or the more glucose will attach to the HbA1c. Or you can say that the attachment of glucose with HbA1c in a non-enzymatic reaction is directly proportional to the level or concentration of glucose into the blood. Therefore, in diabetes, we know that the concentration of glucose become higher into the blood. So, more glucose attached to the HbA1c level. And this characteristic feature of glycosylated hemoglobin or HbA1c glycosylation is used in diabetic patient for diagnosis and prognosis. So, further, I would like to tell you about the values of HbA1c. 
और रेंज इज ऑफ एच बी ए वन सी देर इज अ लिटल बिट कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी अबाउट द यूनिट यूज फॉर द एच बी ए वन सी बिकॉज अमेरिकन डायबेटिक एसोसिएशन देर इज कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी अबाउट द यूनिट यूज फॉर द वैल्यू ऑफ एच बी ए वन सी द अमेरिकन डायबेटिक एसोसिएशन prefer to report the value of hba1c in percentation in in percentages as i wrote here while european countries or some other countries prefer to report the value of hba1c in milli mole per mole but here i will discuss only the values reported by the american diabetic association in percentages american diabetic association uh, provide a guideline for the interpretation of hba1c ranges they say that if your value of hba1c is between 4 to 4% to 5 point 5.6% then it mean that you are not diabetic if your hba the value of your hba1c fall between 5.6% to 6.4% then it mean that you are pre diabetic which mean that you are at risk of getting diabetes in the near future if your value of hba1c is equal to or greater than 6.5% then it is quite possible that you are diabetic because it this failure usually indicate a person with diabetes though there are other factors which are usually considered by clinician but these are the normal ranges which is used for the interpretation of hba1c besides this there are certain other condition in which the value of hba1c is affected therefore in those condition we do not rely on hba1c like for example in anemia a person suffering from g6pd deficiency sickle cell anemia because these condition usually shorten the life span of rbc so when they shorten the life span of rbc then you can get false high value of hba1c or there are certain other population who carry other variant of hemoglobin instead of hba1c so in those population we could not rely on the value of hba1c in addition to this there are some other condition like some liver diseases or kidney diseases which also affect the value of hba1c so a laboratorian as well as clinician will have to consider all these factor which could alter the value of hba1c while reporting or interpreting the value of hba1c for a patient i hope you would find this video beneficial for yourself so if you like this then i would request you for the subscription of my youtube channel dr aman video and also try to hit bell icon in order to get notification for my upcoming video thank you so much for watching my youtube channel fi amanillah there is controversy about the uh, unit used for the value of hba1c the american diabetic association prefer to report the value of hba1c in percentation in in percentages as i wrote here while european countries or some other countries prefer to report the value of hba1c in milli mole per mole but here i will discuss only the values reported by the american diabetic association in percentages american diabetic association uh, provide a guideline for the interpretation of hba1c ranges they say that if your value of hba1c is between 4 to 4% to 5.6% then it mean that you are not diabetic if your hba the value of your hba1c fall between 5.6% to 6.4% then it mean that you are pre diabetic which mean that 
you are at risk of getting diabetes in the near future if your value of HbA1c is equal to or greater than 6.5 percent then it is quite possible that you are diabetic because it this failure usually indicate a person with diabetes though there are other factors which are usually considered by clinician but these are the normal ranges which is used for the interpretation of HbA1c besides this there are certain other condition in which the value of HbA1c is affected therefore in those condition we do not rely on HbA1c like for example in anemia a person suffering from G6PD deficiency, sickle cell anemia because these conditions usually shorten the lifespan of RBC. So when they shorten the lifespan of RBC then you can get false high value of HbA1c or there are certain other population who carry other variant of hemoglobin instead of HbA1c. So in those population we could not rely on the value of HbA1c. In addition to this there are some other condition like some liver diseases or kidney diseases which also affect the value of HbA1c. So a laboratorian as well as clinician will have to consider all these factor which could alter the value of HbA1c while reporting or interpreting the value of HbA1c for a patient. I hope you would find this video beneficial for yourself. So if you like this, then I would request you for the subscription of my YouTube channel, Dr. Aman video. And also try to hit bell icon in order to get notification for my upcoming video. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel. Fi Amanillah.